This time we're going to shroot or change the root into the new system. So we have SDA3, which is our partition for our root, and we've mounted that in uh, slash mount, and we're going to change the root inside. Well, we're going to move actually inside our future Linux system. Now I want you to read this as well, since it helped me in the past. Once you've done a archway installation like this with change root, you see the benefit of um, using a shroot and afterwards when things go wrong and you made a mistake, and then you can say, oh, I remember I was reading or listening to this change root thing, I can use it. So the reasoning is changing a root is commonly done for performing system maintenance things. Some things that can go wrong on your system that you've done, it's a, a, a human mistake, you can fix it by putting in the arch ISO and go and do your stuff. Meaning you can reinstall the bootloader, you can rebuild init RAM FS images, you can upgrade or downgrade or uninstall packages or install packages any way you see fit, resetting forgotten password, building packages, that's something else we'll discuss it later in another tutorial. But basically what happened to me was I had uninstalled, I believe, GCCs, or I think it was. It's quite essential, it's a compiler and everything broke, of course. So that's, um, that's learning money, that's what I call it. But then I remembered, hey, I can maybe shroot back in and say, okay, let's mount this partition and let's uh, put swap on. I think we need that as well. Here it says swap on. And then I said, okay, let's shroot back into the slash mount or MNT. And I said, okay, install sudo packer minus s gcc again. And that did the trick. So it's lovely to know that we can always fix it in our system. Though you can, of course, do a clean install. Sometimes that's interesting after using months and or years in your system. Uh, but well, there is this opportunity to shroot as well. And um, let's do that now. Last thing I would like to point out is that's what we're going to do. But if you want to shoot back out, then you exit this and then you're back on the same level we're now on. Now, um, there are other things like this one that's quite interesting. If you uh, want to make um, the init CPO again, we can do it just by one line. So, and then it's going to rebuild and maybe your system will be up and running again. So it all depends what happens to your system, of course, what you did, but it's an interesting um, way. And don't forget about Shroot if you're in trouble in the future. So moving along, now we have to arch root and he's going to correct it. Fine, there was a dash in between and we're going to mount, or we're going to move inside the MNT and it looks different. You see the root was red, now the root is not red. When I want to get out, it's going to be exit again. When I want to get in, it's going to be this one again. So yes, we've now moved inside our future Linux system and we can, we will change things here. Okay.